I was on a quest to find the strongest, most weather resistant, most secure truck bed cover for my Colorado on the market. And that quest ended with the Diamondback HD. And I can't wait to show it to you. Hey guys, I'm Jason. Welcome back to my garage. Glad to have you here. So ever since I got my pickup truck, I wanted to get a bed cover for it. But the more I looked around, the more I had a hard time finding what I really wanted. Uh, first of all, I wanted something really strong in case I wanted to put some weight on it. And I also wanted it to be weather resistant uh, because I want to keep it dry. The, the content's dry, right? And secure. I want to keep what's mine, mine, and I wanted it to look good. So the more I looked around, the more I kept circling back to Diamondback's website. And after reading about their HD series, I ordered one up in the smooth black finish instead of the standard uh, checkered plate finish and with the anchor cleats pre-installed. If you've ever been to the Diamondback website and priced them out, you know they are pretty expensive, but it did check off all the boxes. I mean, it can support 1,600 pounds, which is quite a bit, especially for a mid-sized truck. It's got a full perimeter weather strip around it and also a center panel that routes water away when you open the panels, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a little bit has a pretty secure locking mechanism, and as a huge bonus to me personally, it's made in the United States of America. Now, I could have saved a few bucks by springing for the SE version instead of the H -E HD version. Uh, it looks the same, but the SE can only support 400 pounds, and not knowing what I had planned in the future, yeah, I got the HD version, spent the extra money for it. So in less than a week after I ordered it online, it showed up. All right, it was just delivered. Pretty good sized box, even though it's my truck bed isn't huge uh, compared to some of the full-size trucks. It was delivered by freight uh, because the box is so big. And I don't know if it's a permanent thing that they have going on or just uh, special, but I got free shipping. So thankfully, it's probably not cheap to ship something this big. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the box. I'm going to take out any packaging material around it so we can get our first look at this Diamondback HD cover. This is the initial view of what it looks like. I did opt to have the cleats installed on it, but you can opt to have them not installed or pre-installed. I figured it'd be easier to pre-install so I wouldn't have to drill the holes. And if I want to take them off, I'm sure there's a way to plug the holes. But it's wrapped here. It tells you not to scratch things up, so be careful when you're cutting it. Pretty cool. All right, now I'm going to undo this wrapping and that wrapping and start taking the pieces out and laying them out. Okay, guys, now before I get started with the installation there's something I want to talk about as you saw when I did the unboxing there was no real padding around the panels as they were bundled together in the box and what I did is I reached out to Diamondback and I said is this supposed to be that way and they said different orders will have different packaging solutions but they said rest assured if there's any problems whatsoever they'd take care of it and so what I did is I laid these out and I checked every single edge, every surface, even the underside for any damage whatsoever, and there was absolutely none. These arrived perfect. And I think this is a testament to the build quality, materials, and construction of Diamondback panels to survive being in that box with no padding on, around it to protect it, stored on end when it shouldn't be, surviving the trip from Pennsylvania to Tennessee with zero damage whatsoever. I think that's pretty impressive. And just for the record, guys, I bought this, pan this, this cover with my own money. Diamondback did not supply this to me. I'm just telling you how it arrived and what they said. And quite frankly, it's pretty reassuring knowing that they're going to take care of it no matter what. So now I'm super excited to get started with the installation. All right, let's check this out. Parts. Installation guide, owner's manual, warranty information. Owner's kit. We'll see what's in there in a minute. Branded struts. Not generic stuff, high quality stuff. That's kind of cool. Little hex wrench. Some plastic dealies. I got an idea what this is for. Some bulkhead weather strip. Oh. These are the brackets that hold the system onto the truck bed. Check that out. Cool. Let's see what's in this owner's kit. Installation guide. Pretty simple. We're going to go over this in just a minute. And then the owner's manual, which has lots of information. But overall, it looks pretty simple. 
Let's take a look at this. Among a lot of things that I really liked about Diamondback was uh, the simplicity of the design and the installation. Here's the installation guide. It gives you the parts included and the tools you need and some pre-installation notes, and then it tells you how to mount the panels, and that's what I'm going to do here. You start with the center panel, and then you put the front and rear panels on it, and then you center it up on the truck bed, and that's when you put the clamps on the center panel. And then from there, you adjust the lock rods, the ones that lock the, you know, the truck, the the cover closed, and then you attach the gas springs and the safety catch. And the safety catch is pretty important. It's in the front, just in case for some odd reason it comes undone in the front. You don't want the air passing over the truck bed cap to flip that thing back. It'd probably make a huge racket and cause a lot of damage. So it's got those safety catches. So I'm going to follow these instructions on my Colorado, and then I'll show you the end result and some more features and what I've learned along the way. All right, this is where it gets fun. So following the instructions, it wasn't really hard to do the assembly. It was pretty simple, really. I did it by myself, but it'd definitely be helpful to have someone give you an extra hand. It'd make things just a little bit easier. So once installed, I drove around for a week or so, and then I started having some regrets that were not the fault of the product or of Diamondback. Now, some of you guys may think this is really stupid, and if so, I really don't care, but a lot of you guys are going to understand my next decision. And here it is, installed and completely adjusted and ready to rock. And it's everything that I wanted out of a truck bed cover. It's very, very durable. It's very, very secure. The weather stripping here has been doing a great job at keeping water out of the truck bed. There's just one problem. See, I primarily bought this not to haul things on top of it. I wanted to be able to do that if I needed to. I wanted the option, but I bought it mostly just to secure my cargo. And if you might recall, I mentioned that I opted to have these anchor cleats installed at the factory so I wouldn't have to install them later on. And my plan was just to undo these two bolts, remove the anchor cleat, and use the bolts to plug the hole. But the problem is, is that this coating right here is not applied where the base of the anchor cleats are. So if you remove these, there's a like a bare square, two of them, for each of every anchor cleat all the way around. So it looks kind of weird even if you plug the hole with the bolt. So if you follow Jason's Law of Car Appearance, you might want to check out that video that I'll link down below in the description. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a visual sort of guy, and I don't really like the looks of having these anchors on permanently especially if it leaves bare spots when I remove them. So what I did is I reached out to Diamondback to see what options I had. Now I'm sure that most of you guys would have lived with it, but I really wanted the smoother look with the ability for me to install the cleats at a later date when I really needed them. But my indecision, it cost me. They do have a $250 return or exchange fee, and I'm sure that's just to cover the cost of shipping something that big a total of three times. The first one to me when I made the original order and then me to return that one back to them and then for them to send me the replacement. And I don't think 250 bucks in that regard is an unreasonable amount of money. So they probably lost money in the situation. So at least I'm not the only one. Now, after I confirmed the exchange with Diamondback, in a matter of days, the replacement showed up and check out how it arrived. Well, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but holy cow, did they ever step up the game on packaging on the replacement without the cleats. I mean, look at this crate. This is unbelievable. The first one arrived just as the box. This one arrived in this crate. Gold label. They must really really appreciate their customers and if somebody wants to make an exchange or has a return or something they don't screw around well i guess i'm gonna take this apart and get this out and do what i did before and here it is out of the box obviously doesn't have the anchor cleats installed so it's going to be look better on my truck as far as i'm concerned for my uses and so i'm going to do the same thing as i did before i'm going to unwrap it and then i'm going to well, I'm probably not going to use the center, reuse the centerpiece. I've already got it installed, and it's the same thing. I'm just going to change the front and rear panels. And at this point, you guys know by now how the installation goes. 
So right after I installed it, I needed to give my truck some more storage options. See, in the Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon, uh, there really isn't much storage inside the truck. The only real storage area is under the rear seat, and even then it doesn't offer much room. So since my truck bed was now pretty secure, I found a pretty good option. Check this out. So this is what I picked up, a swing case from Truck Hero. I talked to these guys at SEMA 2022, pretty cool guys, but as you can see, convenient storage, swings out, lockable, removable. And here are the swing cases installed. Got one for the left, got one for the right. That's why they call it a swing case. This is even lockable, but now I can store stuff here in my truck bed securely underneath my diamond back cover that I couldn't store inside the truck. And if I need the truck bed space for something wide, all I gotta do is undo this and this. This comes off and I can remove them real easy. And I think it looks really, really good. I do like the smooth look without the cleats. That's just me. I think the only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is the huge diamondback lettering right here on the back. It's just a bit overdone if you ask me. But I think that's pretty minor in the scope of things because of the good job this thing does for my needs. So guys, I did that installation of the cover and the swing cases almost a year ago. And in the months that I've had it, I absolutely love the cover. I mean, again, it checks off all the boxes. No question that it is strong. It's like walking on concrete. There is no deflection at all. I'm sure it'll have no problems holding the advertised 1,600 pounds. And it's weather resistant. Now, I don't think that there's a truck bed cover out there that will keep a truck bed dry 100% of the time, but I did expect it to be like 90, 95% of the time, right? Based on the design alone. So I put it to the test. And then I did what I do not like to do. I drove through an automatic car wash. I always try to avoid doing this because you never know what could get embedded in one of those fry guy things that's slapping against your pain at high speed. But I did it so we can all see how well the Diamondback cover did, and I can tell you it went pretty well. But then there's one situation that I didn't plan for. We had a really powerful storm come through, and once it cleared, I went out to see how it did, and I'm sure that you all won't be surprised. It did pretty good. All right, guys, so here's your conclusion on the Diamondback HD cover. First of all, I'm really happy with it, okay? If I could do it again, I might have gotten the SE version, like I mentioned, or the new switchback that Diamondback has released just recently. And that seems to be a pretty awesome choice for someone like me with a use case like mine. So I might consider that in the future. And uh, be sure to subscribe because I do have more truck stuff coming in the future. Mark my words on that one. Some pretty cool stuff coming down the line, I think. So, yeah, a couple other choices would have saved me money when I really considered what I would and would not have on the top of my truck bed cover. But there might be a time when me and three of my buddies want to go to an outdoor event where we can put up a couple of chairs on it, not have to worry about it denting or caving in or anything like that. And, of course, I would have made the first order without those anchor cleats installed. It would have saved me 250 bucks. But live and learn. But otherwise, I think it's a great cover. It's pretty much indestructible. It does a dang good job as a secure, weather-resistant truck bed cover. It is definitely overkill for my use so far in terms of the weight that it can support. But uh, overall, you never know when you're going to need to haul something that the SE version may not be able to handle. So it was an investment in future uh, avoiding future grief. How about that? So if you're considering a Diamondback cover, I hope this video helped you to make the decision to do so. And if so, head on over to diamondbackcovers.com, order one up. It was a good decision for me, even if I had to make it twice. And I will say, if I didn't mention it before, if you guys missed it before, uh, Diamondback didn't send me this. I bought this cover with my own money. So this is my honest opinion on it. So also, if you want to see if Truck Hero makes a swing case for your truck, then I'll put links to those also in the description. And as I am an affiliate of those links, uh, buying through them helps out my channel and my efforts at no additional cost or effort to you. So I really appreciate it. But otherwise, let me know if you've got any comments or questions about the Diamondback bed cover. And uh, as always, thanks for hanging out with me in my garage. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.